right, so here he is, one of, if not the greatest, to ever put on a pair of four-ounce gloves. John Bones Jones. Daniel, this is the only man who has ever solved your game in a mixed martial arts setting. Johnny Bones back for more tonight. For me, I understand how special Jones is is because he is the guy that's been able to beat me twice. But when you go down and you look at the resume, you start with Shogun Hua, then you have the Rashad Evans, then the Rampage Jackson, then you have myself, Alexander Gustafson. It is a list of Hall of Famers that not many people can match when they say match your resume against mine. John Jones is a special talent, and he has shown that every time he has fought the very best the UFC has to offer. You put it well, in terms of the strength of schedule, I think he has the best resume of any UFC champion of all time. And of course, as he makes the walk here tonight, he puts that status on the line yet again. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Jones is two years the elder. He weighed in at 205 pounds. He will have a 12-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look see do fighter, holding a professional record of 27 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the challenger, John Bones. John! Now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Lee's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand 
make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And there comes the separation now. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, a huge block there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight, DC. And you have to have it, because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title wrapped around his waist. Relax, he's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice hook by Lee. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Oh, big head kick land. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for John Jones. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. There's no tell on that leg kick. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Look at him whip his head into that kick. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Big ball from West Lands. Now he gets back in range. Oh, man, head kick lands. Oh, nice. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Big body kick. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively. Here. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, huge block! Nice body kick right under the elbow. Nice punch by Lee. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. I'm trying to kick the leg out. Final match. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Right hand upstairs. Just misses with the right. Connects with the right. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Lee. 15 seconds. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Let's go fight. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round.
Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? of his size as he lands the knee. Very nice leg kick there by Jones. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Tough to take down, no problem. It's very tricky when he throws that body stick. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Get him tall. One, two, take down. Started to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Straight punch lands. We march on, three minutes to go. Oh, damage done, bleeding from his cheek now. A swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. A nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He never looked this good. And he landed the right hand there. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Nice. What a body kick. Beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know. Oh. The finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Jones gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Jones' lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, big elbows. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'll tell you, man. You get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. It's horrible. Well-placed kick there by Lee. And he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Jones. Real sneaky body kick. of round number two. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. 
All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big leg kick land. Jones going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Nice knee to the midsection there. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. And they separate. Another shot lands upstairs. How about that shin? Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Oh, buckled him there, beautiful shot to the body. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Nice job of hiding that head. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Punch over the top. Oh, that's a pretty filthy combination there by Lee. Jones gets touched by that kick there. So the taller fighter lands a huge flying knee there. Oh, nice move to the body, just what he needed there. He landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Nice body kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, uppercut to the head, but it's blocked there by Lee. You don't know when that leg is back. back and forth we go here! Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. This is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Straight punch landed with so much power. Shut up that takedown. Missed with that right hand. Clipped him with the right hand there. All right, single collar tie now. Trying to hammer that lead leg. My goodness. Lance with the right hand. Still nice body kick. Such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like a dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Great punch. Big head kick land. Big leg kick land. Oh, just misses with the kick. Jones's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Beautiful head kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave 
where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Visibly limping here. Final seconds of round three. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the corner. Oh, oh, oh. All right, let's get to the replays from that previous round, and you got to think they plucked that flying knee, huh? Oh, it was beautiful. It was great to see someone be this free in the octagon. See an opening, take anything that shows itself. That flying knee was perfectly timed and landed beautifully. Pick up the pace, okay? We lost that round. Do not get sloppy. Stay sharp. Be first. I need you to be first. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. Let's see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Beautiful strike. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Point accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Slips. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. Right punches there. Big kick lands. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Under three minutes remain in round four. Right under the elbow, the body of the Got clip with the right hand. Nice head kick. Jones' shot is blocked. Oh, nice right hand. Nice punch man moving foul. Jones gets in the clinch yet again. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. At trying to shut the liver down. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Ninety seconds now to go in the round. Lee going for the leg kick. He misses. That one's stuck in. Nice strike. Big body kick lands. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, and there's a kick to the body. Not having that one blocked by Lee. Knee to the body. Take 
beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head in MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks. But this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it come. Big punch from the clinch. 30 seconds now to go in the round. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Big head kick lands. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. Going out of the body with that hook. Well done there by Lee. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. Well, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, next round is now underway. Previous go, round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. So pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Jones gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, man, that cut looks terrible. He's bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped the fight with that cut at some point. Oh, Jones gets caught with that punch. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Nice punch there by Jones. Beautiful body kick. Lonnie well, lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. Swing and a miss on the counter. That kick blocked by Lee. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. And they separate. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Three minutes now to go in this one. Green! Came oh. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop this contest at two minutes, six seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John.
is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result, and we got a new champ. I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.